Hey there, Sandy Freshy, back with the second half of my thought about the fifth line profile. Uh, I this is a continuation of the conversation that I had with my friend with the uh, line five, who's a five one profile. And if you didn't see the previous video, I'll go ahead and post it somewhere up here so that you can uh, take a look at it. So the other part of the other thought that I had about the fifth line profile is uh, the element that the other element that keeps you out of trouble, that keeps you from being burned at the stake as the heretic is when you have the practical solution that someone really needs. And this is where you, you can really delve into your design, into the definition of your design, along with your own expertise, your your own uh, whatever you've researched, especially the five ones. You've probably researched a lot of things where you can really delve into um, what it is that you have uh, a knowledge about, what experience about, what you're a natural in for those of you who also have a two with your profile. And this is going to, when you, you really are um, invited out or you're responding depending on your type or uh, you're informing or uh, you've waited a while to make sure if you're a reflector that it is uh, something to, to um, share or to offer. It's your practical solution that is going to make you the kind of heretic that changes the path that people go down. So in my conversation with my friend about her fifth line profile, uh, one thing that came to me, this image came to me of an oasis in the desert and I think it's very, very relevant to that fifth line experience. You can either be a mirage, having that projection field of the fifth line, if you don't have a practical solution, or you can be the true oasis in the desert that nourishes those who come to you. So this, again, is where knowing what's in your design, what you're about, even when you can't really see what you're about, go back to that other video, even when you may not really see what people see that you're about. Um, this is, this, the practical solutions that you have make you the oasis in the desert rather than the mirage that people uh, are projecting is out there as their uh, saving grace, as their solution. Um, and then this is what your fifth line is really about. So be the oasis, not the mirage. And the way to be the oasis is to be correct in your design, to be entering into things correctly via your strategy and authority, and to really understand what your practical solutions are for other people and who is really looking for them. And you'll know who's looking for them by how you enter into them. And if you enter into them correctly, projectors via invitation, generators manifesting generators via your response or your emotional authority, um, uh, Manifestors via informing and reflectors via the time that you take to be sure, the, the moon cycle that you take to, to be sure. Then, um, then you can really turn on the power of your heresy that changes the game for other people. And they will get what they need from what they've projected onto you and they will be able to take that practical solution and use it in their lives in the way that they were meant to use it. You are here um, for that purpose or, or you are here to uh, fulfill your purpose in that way if you have a fifth line in your profile. And um, just keep that image in mind, the oasis, not the mirage 
that disappears when they get to that point in the desert. You are here to nourish others with your practical solution. So that's it for this video. If you like this content, um, go ahead and like the video. Uh, if you want more videos like this, go ahead and um, subscribe and hit the little notification bell that lets you know when I upload a new video. So until the next time, be well.